Hey everybody, good morning. This is John Alley with Green Key. I've got my brother Chase here with me. Good morning, me. everybody. And we're on our first job of the day. This was an interesting one. Uh, this particular job, they have a 100 amp sub panel in their garage, which is where I'm at right now. And the, the sub panel actually was fairly loaded. It has a, a, a air handler unit on it that uh, wouldn't allow us to put a charger in at any usable speed. It would have been like maybe 24 amps of charging that we've been able to provide and that's just not good enough because the customer does have a uh, Ford Lightning that they're using. So we decided to go with a new product and it is the Emporia Pro Charger. And the way it works is it monitors power usage and it actually dynamically changes the output of the charger based on power being used. So you don't have to worry about exceeding your panel's capacity. So here is the Emporia Pro Charger right here. Chase has it laid out on the table for us. And then this is how it dynamically controls power using the view, which basically is some clamp on ammeters that go in the panel and using Wi-Fi it communicates with the chargers you don't have a separate wire that you have to pull um, this is the first one of these we've installed we've installed plenty of Emporias but no Emporia Pros yet um, so what this is going to look like is we are going to take you over here to the panel this is our sub panel we're going to be taking that lower left hand breaker out that's not used anymore that's uh, an old heating circuit um, we're going to be just um, abandoning that in the in the cabinet, wire nutting it off, and using that spot. And then our clamp on ammeters are going to go on our incoming wire to monitor power. Coming out of the panel, we're going to go up into the overhead. We're going to run through the attic space, and then we're going to come out over here. Going to run down this wall. We'll have a junction box that'll go outside. They want the charger mounted outside since he parks his vehicle outside. That's what we always recommend, put the charger where the vehicle is. And uh, the charger will be mounted on the wall right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And after we're done, we'll show you what it looks like. 